my name is Athena and I will be your host for this video. Our topic is forensic nursing and there are five unique parts. To outline, the five parts are what is forensic nursing, the history, the different types, education and salary, and the pros and cons. First up is Paola with what is forensic nursing. Hello and good morning from the Redfield campus. My name is Paola Corral and I am here to speak to you all about forensic nursing. When we think of nursing, we often think of a hospital setting and working at the bedside. And while that is true for most nurses, there are different settings and options to pick from. For example, forensic nursing. That is one field that has a variety of settings and it comes with an array of specialties. You may be wondering, what is forensic nursing? Forensic nursing is a field in which registered nurses can work and be the bridge between healthcare and the law. A nurse in this field provides specialized care for patients who have experienced any type of violence or abuse. According to the International Association of Forensic Nurses, this can range from sexual assault, domestic violence, child abuse, and neglect, elder mistreatment, death investigations, corrections, and the aftermath of a mass disaster. All of these cases not only need healthcare attention, but also the attention from law enforcement. Nurses work closely with law enforcement officials and can even testify in court, depending on the case, because these nurses can collect evidence since they are usually the first interaction the patient has after their violence encounter. As we will see later on in this video, forensic nurses deal with patients that have experienced trauma, and it is important to give those patients optimized care and empathy, while also collecting the evidence needed to bring them justice. Their way of collecting evidence can look different case by case, but they need to be accurate as it will be important for the patient's legal case. Something else you may notice in this video is that forensic nurses interact with a lot of other professions as well. In summary, this video will inform you about the history of forensic nursing, the types and specializations in forensic nursing, the education needed to be a forensic nurse, and even the salary. Now we'll go on to the history and background of forensic nursing with Katrina. Hello, so my name is Katrina and I'm going to be taking you to, through the history of the forensic nursing specialty. So forensic nursing was first thought about in the 1980s when US physicians and forensic pathologists identified that there needed to be more collaboration between the health and the justice systems. And this really was evidenced in 1983 when the American uh, Journal of Nursing published an article titled Preserving Evidence in the Emergency Department. And this talked about um, the importance of recognizing and preserving the evidence and then the negative consequences when that evidence was inadvertently destroyed. So before we go any further, I wanted to introduce you to Virginia Lynch. So Virginia Lynch is seen as the mother of forensic nursing, and she actually started her career in 1982 as an emergency room nurse. So she saw these issues firsthand. Um, and later, when her career took a more forensic turn, she looked at the forensic discipline and the role of nurses and saw that they could meet a yet unmet need. So in 1980, her goal of the forensic nursing specialty came into existence when the University of Texas at Arlington School of Nursing established its first master's degree program for forensic nurses, um, and Lynch herself actually developed that curriculum. So in 1995, forensic nursing was recognized as one of the major areas for nursing development in the 21st century, and the International Association of Forensic Nurses was founded, and Virginia Lynch was actually the president of that organization. Um, also in 1995, the American Nurses Association recognized forensic nursing as its own specialty. In 1997, the scope and standards of nursing practice were developed and published through the IAFN and ANA, and they identified expectations for the role and the practice of forensic nurses. They were later updated in 2009 and in 2015. So next, Tess is gonna take you through the specialties of the forensic nursing practice. Tessa will now describe the different types of forensic nursing. Types of forensic nurses. The most common type of forensic nurse is called a SANE nurse. They've gone through about 80 hours of training. They're the first point of contact for victims who come in 
who have been sexually assaulted. They perform exams on these victims, collect evidence, and sometimes they have to testify in court. The forensic psychiatric nurse works with individuals who have serious mental disorders. They work with physicians, pharmacists, and social workers to try to determine care plans for the individuals and also balance the needs of the individual and the risk to society. In contrast, a correctional nurse specialist works with someone who might be in jail or prison or another correctional institution. Um, they focus on the health of their patient in their current environment, not so much why they are in the position that they're in. A legal nurse consultant assists in legal cases. They give medical expertise to attorneys, and these cases deal with medical mal malpractice or personal injury lawsuits. A forensic nurse investigator works with law enforcement and death investigators to uncover causes of unexpected or violent deaths. Nurse coroners, in contrast, examine actual dead bodies to determine causes of death. Lastly, a forensic gerontology specialist investigates cases dealing with elder abuse, neglect, and exploitation. Cheyenne is up next to talk about education and salary. Hi guys, I'm Cheyenne and I'm going to be talking to you guys today about the degree needed for forensic nursing, the certifications and licenses needed, and the salary that you can expect once you become a forensic nurse. So I'm gonna start with degree. Everyone that wants to become a forensic nurse needs to be a registered nurse first. Um, you can obtain this by either getting your associate's degree, which is typically two years, your diploma in nursing, which sometimes is three years, your bachelor's degree, which is typically four, but in our case, one really fast year, um, or your master's degree in nursing. Um, this route can depend, you, you can have your master's in nursing and then go into forensic nursing, but a lot of the times people will have their bachelor's and then obtain a master's degree in forensic nursing. So there are programs that are specific to forensic nursing in order to obtain a master's, which would increase pay, which we'll talk about later on. The certifications and licenses needed, like I said, you must be a registered nurse, so taking that NCLEX and receiving that certification and licensure for whatever state you're working in is necessary just to be a nurse. And then you have to obtain your SANE certification. Um, SANE stands for Sexual Assault Nurse Examiner. Um, this includes 40 hours total, uh, or 80 hours total, 40 hours of theoretical coursework, so lectures and classwork, and then 40 hours of clinical training, which can either be specialized in pediatrics or in adults or in um, geriatrics. And then after you complete those 80 hours total, you would sit in for your forensic nursing exam. Um, once you pass that, then you would obtain that certification. And then from there, you just have to stay up to date depending on what state you live in on that certification and your license as a RN. Next, we're going to talk about salary. Salary ranges based on where you live and the year and economy, I guess. Um, the bottom 10%, so starting a new forensic nurse starting out, can expect to make around 50000 per year. Um, the median that I found, so the typical range, or maybe after a couple years working with experience, I found that they make around 81800 per year. And then the top 10%, so you've got someone that's either been working in this field for a really long time, or like I said back here, have obtained their master's degree in forensic nursing. Um, they typically make around 140,000 um, per year. So yeah, that's an overview of the degree, certification, licenses, and salary of a forensic nurse. I'll take you guys over to Nick for the pros and cons of forensic nursing. Last but not least, Nick will go over some of the pros and cons of the profession. 
probably more like a ferret guy. A ferret guy? No, <laughs> no way. Definitely not a ferret guy. But anyway, I mean, um, yeah, I mean, thanks for making the time today. I know uh, you work on the night shift, so you must be pretty exhausted. No, it's it's cool. I had a few days off. And I mean, you're a nurse. You get it, right? I think that it helps for both nurses. Yeah. And um, but on top of your regular ER gig, you're, you've also been uh, for, you're also a forensic nurse. You've been doing yeah. that for what, three? Three years. Three years. Yeah. You know, being a forensic nurse and having that fit into what I do in the ED, it's been really profound in ways that I didn't expect. Really? Like in what ways? Well, you know, it, with the certification, I am the first point of contact for these people that have been through really horrible things. And I get to provide meaningful support. So like, there have been many times where I collect all the necessary evidence and then I give testimony in court and then these patients, they get justice like in real way. It's good for me to hear that, you know, considering I just actually finished my certification process to be a forensic nurse. Oh, that's great. You know, it's a bumpy road, so pace yourself with it. Yeah, also probably really good advice considering I'm starting as a medical examiner next week. Oh, congrats. That's great. Hey, good to see you again. Hey, yeah, it's, yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm just, this is just work. I've just got to get to this. They're, it's been a lot. They're giving me all the cases now, and apparently I'm going to be like, when I'm done with my training, I'm going to be the only medical examiner in the county. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay, I guess. It's just way harder than I thought it was going to be. This whole mix of law and medicine and death and investigation is just it's pretty dark i don't know yeah i mean that's why there's not a lot of forensic nurses it's hard emotionally and you have to look at the big picture of things do i smell like a dead body look if you thought it was going to be easy it's not but think positively about it. Look at what you've done already. And Mitch, you need coping skills. I mean, you're a nurse, you should know that. You can't do this kind of work without it. Huh, maybe it's time to get a dog. Thanks for watching. The following few seconds are for the references.